What's the deal, baby? Y'all know it is the big boss out, boss out. Okay, poke through the dope, hit the talk to this box. Today, we talking about Kayla Plant, man. Um, I did a pre fight prediction. Kayla Plant versus Darrell. I did that like a month, two months ago. I can't remember. I make a lot of videos. But um, I made a video. And, you know, go watch that. Go check it out as far as the breakdown who I think is going to win that fight. But um, to summarize it, you know, I'm, I'm picking Kayla Plant. I'm anxious to see with the new trainer that they have um, what new acquisitions he's made. I know he hasn't made any major changes, but just what new acquisitions he's made uh, in his, you know, and added to his arsenal. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll see how that goes. Keller Plant is a master class boxer, and I'm just anxious to see what he's going to do. You know what I mean? I think if Caleb has a dominant performance, like I think he will, I say go ahead and make that David Benavidez fight. You know what I mean? Uh, that'd be a big fight. That's a pay-per-view fight. You guys just, you know, they beefing. It's just that it's that time. You know what I mean? Now, that's a tough fight for both guys um, because, uh, in my opinion, you know, most people are going to sit there and say that, oh, it's easy for David Benavidez because David Benavidez is bigger and he and he has volume. But David Benavidez struggles against guys who can box. You know what I mean? I mean, go back and look at that Darrell fight when David Benavidez fought Darrell. Darrell was kind of getting with David Benavidez, making a miss, making a pay. The only reason they stopped that fight is because of that cut that Darrell had. Darrell had suffered a cut, I think, from a punch or something. It was from a punch, though. But they stopped it because of the, you know, look, the cut. So, you know, so David Benavidez, I mean, he, he, he kind of struggles with boxers. And he kind of gives up his height sometimes. You know what I mean? I think David Benavidez is the taller fighter. He's definitely the bigger fighter. Just use that, use that length. You know what I mean? Use that length. But um, that's that's. I mean, I can see ways David can win against Caleb. I can see ways Caleb can beat David. You know what I mean? Like I said, if Caleb is able to, I think if Caleb keep David in the center of the ring and just kind of make him miss, make him pay type thing, uh, he can beat him by decision. I think he got a point him because David, David is a big guy. He wants to get close on you. He want to let his hands go. That's what he wants to do. He wants to he wants to weigh on you. He wants the weight to be a factor on you. You know what I mean? Because David Benavidez is big. Like, I'm surprised he's not a light heavyweight or a cruiserweight. You know what I'm saying? Like that boy big. I mean, just each time I see him getting a ring with a 168 pounder, I'm like, this boy is massive. How is he making 168? You know what I mean? So the weight could play a factor. You know what I mean? Because of how big he is. You know what I mean? So um, but yet again, that, that can also mean he's slow too. You know what I mean? Caleb Plant can be <laughs> looking at them punches with bomb and, you know, be counting. You know what I mean? But if Caleb can't get that fight, then Jamal Charlo is the next big thing. Y'all know that I feel like Jamal Charlo should move to 168 due to the chaos that's at 160. I feel like, you know, uh, you know, it's a lot of political stuff going on at 160. You got guys with different networks that got belts, and that's an issue. You know what I mean? You know, look at Jaime McGill and Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo and Jaime McGill agreed to turn, but then Oscar De La Hoya came and shot that down. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the zone got to be involved. I mean, that's a unification. Y'all going to make a lot of money. You know what I mean? So, um, but to get back on Kayla Plant, Kayla Plant and Jamal Charlo is a big fight as well. You know what I mean? I don't know who win that fight. I can't even pick. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who win that. You know? Um, Kayla Plant can box. Like I said, Jamal Charlo, he, he can box. He's, he's kind of, he's not slick. He's more of a come for a fighter, a boxer puncher type of guy. You know, he sit on his punches a lot, but his jab is is strong. You know what I mean? He got a strong jab. So that's, you know, the, the thing. You know what I mean? And that fight. 
It's, it's, it's just so many pros and cons to both fighters. I don't know who wins that one. You know what I mean? That's another big fight. You know what I mean? Caleb Plant can fight uh, the Cuban guy. I forgot his name. Dang, I forgot his name. I just had his name and I forgot it. But the little Cuban guy that's like 8 0 or uh, 9 0, whatever. Uh, David something. I just. I just had his name. Damn. It's making me mad. God forgive me. So I was going to stop cussing. But uh, I'm anxious to see that. You know what I mean? Like, there's options for Caleb playing at 168. Still. I think he can revitalize career and, you know, really get back on the right side. You know, he got two big fights in front of him that he can make. You know, but he has to get through uh, the real first. You know what I mean? So... Like I said, I'm anxious to see what new acquisitions he's made to his style. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think Caleb Plant, you know, will beat the real? Do y'all think Caleb Plant um, can beat David Benavidez or Jamal Charlo or the, the guy that's 9-0? Let me know something. Boss gone.